To start, just go to sites.google.com and here you're going to have the option to either create a new site from scratch using this blank option or using a template. So I'm going to look at the template gallery here. There are lots of things to choose from to make your life easier, but I'm going to choose dog walking and pretend that I've got a new dog walking business here. So here's what it looks like, quite a simple template here. And you've got lots of options on the right hand side for things to include. But I'm going to start just by clicking on this text here and typing my name. Now I've got this about me section here, but I think it's going to look better with an image next to it. So I'm going to double click in this blank section next to it and see this tool called the disk. The disk allows me to do things like upload, insert images, embed pages, or even add documents from Google Drive. But I'm going to upload a picture from my computer here of this dog who looks very happy. Now that I've done that, I think the text over here would look better if it was left aligned. So if I click in the text box, I've got lots of options here, including the ability to go up here, click and left align the text. And actually thinking about it, I want to make sure my site is really inclusive for people using screen readers. So I'm going to click on the image here, choose the three dots to get more options and add some alt text to this image. And that means if someone's using a screen reader, this is what will be read to them. Now I want to make sure my site is really helpful, so I definitely want to add a page with pricing on. So on the right hand side here with all of these options, I choose pages at the top and at the bottom I can then click to add a new page. Let's give it a name, so pricing this time around and click done. And here's my new page. Now I think the header is a bit too big here, so if I mouse over I get these different options. So I'm going to make it banner size to make it a little bit less high. And I'm going to double click again, like I did earlier, to get the disk. But this time, just click in the middle to add some new text. So I'm typing straight into this box all of my pricing information. And I want to make sure that people can book right away from this page, so I'm going to add a button. Now to do that, on the right hand side, this time I'm going to that Insert tab. And scroll down, you'll see the option for button. When you click on it, you have to do two things. Give the button a name, and then choose a link. Now for the link, I've just put the email address. So when they click on it, this will open up a new email for them to start. And once I've inserted the button, I can use these handles to resize it. And I can also click and drag the button where I want it. And you see it snaps nicely to a grid. The last thing I want to do on the page then is add a footer. And this footer will be across the whole website. So just a simple copyright message for me here. And I'm gonna go back to the top here to my home page. And if I go on the right hand side and choose themes, I can change the whole design of the website by clicking on different themes. So let's look at a few. Here's simple and another one, Aristotle, or the one that I've been using, Diplomat. And you can change the color like this and the font style as well. But I'm going to just keep it back to what it was. And so we're pretty much ready. But before I publish the site, I want to preview what it looks like on different devices. So I click this preview button. And at the bottom of the screen here, I can click to see what it looks like on a tablet device or on a mobile device too. And you're just checking that all of the images and everything show up okay. So I'm happy. I close the preview. And one thing I love about Google Sites is that you can add other people that can edit the site with you. So you just click on the Add Editors button and you could add an email address. But the final step we have to take is to publish the site. So I click on the Publish button. I give my site a name. Now you see the link there is pretty long, so you might want to use a custom domain. So in that section, click on Manage, and if you want to, you can work through the process to have yoursite.com. And once you're ready, you just hit Publish, and then you can share out the link and people can visit your site. And that is how you create a website for your business in just four minutes.